All right, this is the lab uh, section dealing with development and uh, heredity. So I'm starting with the chapter 20, section 27 on page 133, uh, development. Here we see female reproductive system with kind of a time lapse of events. Uh, here's an ovary which has, you know, developed and formed a follicle and the follicle finally releases the uh, oocyte in a process called ovulation. So ovulation is when the, the oocyte is released, this, uh, this uh, secondary oocyte is released. As that oocyte makes its way into the oviduct, if it's going to be uh, a pregnancy, you're gonna have to have sperm cells there, and this little line there represents a sperm cell, so that represents fertilization occurring right there. I'll get into more detail about that later. Uh, there's a reaction called the acrosomal reaction, which allows the sperm cell to penetrate through the zona pellucida, which is the outer layer of the egg. Now, this then is a single-celled uh, fertilized egg or single-celled embryo called a zygote. So when the egg has been fertilized, it is called a zygote until it starts to divide. As it divides, it goes through stages where the, the cells double. So these are mitotic divisions. This would be two-celled stage. There'd be four, there'd be eight, 16. Once it reaches this sort of state where it's a solid ball of cells, probably indicated right here, it's called a morula. You'll see that on a, for, on a page later. Uh, morula is basically a solid ball of cells. Then that uh, morula in humans develops into what's called a blastocyst. So this structure right here is kind of, you can tell that it's hollow in the middle there. There's a little, little chamber in there uh, where the embryo is going to develop. That structure is called a blastocyst. And this right here represents implantation inside the uterus. So the endometrium is this inner layer of the uterus where the embryo then will implant. Uh, and I can move, we can pan back here, I guess, to see, it, see the embryo developing down here. How are we looking? Good. All right, so here's the embryo developing inside of the uterus. It's called an embryo until it reaches nine weeks. And when it's nine weeks, it switches to being a fetus. I'm not sure where, you'd, where that is here. Just know that, that after you know nine weeks and on, it's a fetus. Before that, it's an embryo. One cell is called a zygote. So developing here, getting bigger and bigger. Uh, you can see some more detail emerging until we get over here where we have the uh, fetus is sort of an inverted position here. You can see the cervix is right down here. Uh, Vagina is right here. This whole container right here is the uterus. Uh, there are a couple of structures that you can notice right here. You see these little finger-like projections right here. These little finger-like projections are part of one of the embryo's extra embryonic membranes called the chorion. And so those little extensions are called villi. If you remember, uh, the villi of the intestine look like little you know, finger-like projections. So these are chorionic villi, these little bulges right here. The attachment point for this embryo with the mother's reproductive system is called the decidua basalis. So this layer is called the decidua basalis. And if you follow it around, there is another, a continuation, I should say, of that, of that layer. But when it's around the embryo, it's called the decidua capsularis. And the decidua capsularis basically fuses with the chorion right here to form that, uh, that chamber that the embryo uh, develops in. Just a couple of finishing points here. Embryogenesis, you can see in that table, I'm not gonna point anything. Embryogenesis is the development of the embryo in general. Uh, organogenesis is the development of the organs of the embryo. And uh, gastrulation is a process that you can't really tell, you can't really see here, so I'll describe that later.